just don't learn things just to deal with health, right? Like I say health is totally meaningless anyway. Fitness is more important than health. When I say fitness, I don't mean just for muscles. I mean that like, everything about you should be fit, right? It's just all fit in and work right. That means you just need a tuner. Get everything worked down to your pounds and quantum particles, okay? And that's how you're going to get fit, right? You're going to act with those quantum particles, give you the energy that you're not going to have time to see, as someone else said to have time to see you, okay? But anyway, Josh, come up here and say something, all right? So if you can do it, if I can do it, any of you can do it, right? Hi, my name is uh, Josh Wong uh, from Los Angeles, and uh, I've been with uh, Dr. Newman since 1995. And what I, my goal was to find somebody, some Chinese guy, <laughs> if he was a Italian, dish up to a Italian restaurant, Spanish chocolate was Spanish, and I went with a Chinese guy, because at that, uh, 95 and earlier than that was the uh, acupuncture was coming in, more accepted, but that was something I didn't want to touch anybody or be liable. So one convention, I said, hey, I need to meet this Chinese guy who's the expert in the world that can help me. Well, I know it's going to be that, right? No, no, me. Oh, okay. You have me. Oh, you want to find that guy. There you go. So when I just happened to the convention, I saw this guy, he finishes, and then uh, I just kind of read his brochure, and uh, then I knew I just signed up. And, and what my goal was at that time was to get prepared for my parents to get uh, older. So this has been a long time, and so right now I've been doing that initially, since my parents are now at 88 and or something like that, and that still kind of drives. But his issue is more like fitness because well, I've been clearing things, so I uh, need weaknesses, and a lot of times we, weaknesses or influences is from outside of us, every day, like we're in town. So when I realized that, we uh, do a lot of changes. So with this technique and uh, application, we can do a lot of things finances, fitness, health, future. Yeah, health. health. Take that out of the way. Okay. No, 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 all of a sudden they surprise that it's uh, my with body, not just my over or something like that. You'll learn you can learn that. Okay, like that in a way, but thank you. Share that with you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, a new person that's taking the class. You want to say something? Sure. Actually you are taking a lot of so called healing classes, right? Uh-huh. Before before this one. Um. Yeah, what, what I do uh, other than this is actually works alongside of this, it's not replaced by it. But I will say, I think I think the first class, I mean, I'm just sitting here thinking of what it was like when I took the intro. I think about a month ago or six weeks ago, I can't remember the first time that I remember. That's sort of our time, Yeah, I'm doing a pain off on occasion, I'm learning not to. Um, but it, I had this lengthy list of how everything was <coughs> scary and hard and difficult physically and it's only been a thing about six weeks and it's very little frightens me anymore. Everything is shifting in my body and I have this sense that I, I can do what I need done okay. and I love coming to somebody else to do stuff but I don't need it. I also can find I can shift things and other people do it astonishes me. It still astonishes me. So I'm practicing astonishment. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. Psychology is things that, you know, everyone has those fears and kind of petrify them and we keep them stuck where they are, right? So, so we're done with money already. Now, do you want to be about anything else in their life? Come on. Well, you're, you're totally fearless here, right? Okay. Well, that's good, right? So, now, just think about some fears you have, right? You don't even have to share with us or me with any of us here, but uh, the same about fear you have, okay? Wouldn't your life be better to get rid of that fear too free? Delete it? Come on. 
But see your hands, you have a feeling you want to give it up and just identify it to yourself, right? I don't want you to express it. Come on, let me see your hands. And you're trying to tell me that you don't have to feel it? Okay, all right. So you have those fears, right? Only you know what it is. Now, I could know, but I don't care, okay? Now, I would just make you strong for these fears and you need the effects of it, all right? In your spirit, mind, and body, okay? Now, put some energy behind it, that's it. That's how we're going to learn how to resolve people's business problems, their relationship problems, you can resolve their fitness problems, you can resolve their future, having problems, and you don't want to listen to someone to live at the moment, okay? That's how you, you deny you have a future, you deny you have a past. You want to resolve past, present, and future right there on the spot, okay? Now, now, once again, think about your fears. How's it affect you now compared to before? Same or different? Same or different? Okay. Well, you're confused. Well, that's actually an improvement, right? So, in fact, when you have no fear, you're confused, but you have no fears. Right? But they don't really have that many fears. You know, they, the psychologists tell you that, you know, it's fear is what keeping people back, but it's not true. But right? if that was true, they would resolve your problem, right? So it's more of disappointment and, and frustration and other emotions. Right, so, now, Don here, Wyman, kind of fatigue, allergy, chemical sensitivity, insomnia, right? So, so what have you been doing about that? Uh, taking lots of herbs and seeing doctors here and there. Well, does it help? The herbs uh, and vitamins seem to help a little. What do you mean, a little bit? You know, either you're pregnant or you're not, okay? <laughs> You can't be a little bit pregnant, right? So, from that perspective, no, it doesn't help at all. You can't be a little bit pregnant, okay? Now, the thing is, chemical sensitivity is the first thing that comes up for you. But I think you have that, right? Vivian has that. Actually, I'm just tired all the time, and I notice that if I like even wash my hair with them, you Well, what about chemical sensitivity first? Okay. Now, what are you chemical sensitive to? Um, Anything deodorant, shampoo, huh? different toothpaste. Okay, now you think about your reaction to to those chemicals. Okay. Right. It affects you mentally, right? No, I just am exhausted after I pick them or use them. Yeah, but you like those chemicals? The oh, deodorant? Yeah, I really like being able to use them. <laughs> I mean, you like those chemicals. Um, I don't know what you mean. Does those chemical affect you? I mean, it affects you, you don't like the fact it affects you, right? Oh, yeah, it affects well, of course, I can't get out of bed. Right, so, what, well, you're still giving a physical thing to you. You can't get out of bed, you can't you stay in bed all day, right? Depends who you're with, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess my girlfriend would agree. All right, now, let us go back to it again, okay? Now, you reacting to these chemicals, it troubles you that, that you're reacting to them, right? Yes. Now, anyone else have chemical reactions? Your mind will just put together with him, you pick it back with him, get rid of it. Okay, that's how easy things get. Okay, now you don't have to spend the whole national uh, budget on stupid healthcare. No one gets better. Right? Now it's really up to you to write a letter to Obama. Okay? In fact, Michelle Obama, because she's the one going to take action, right? Not him. Right? All right, anyway. <laughs>